Well, stories are very important. They're very important to us as humans. I think we're designed to remember things by stories. And I think much of what we do in this life is based on the stories that we build our thinking around. We don't, we don't like to believe that. We like to believe we're very uh, scientific, but in fact, we're very story-oriented. And uh, the story that most affects my life is the Bible story. Uh, and that is primarily what God has given us. All, as much as three quarters or more uh, of the Bible is in fact written in story form and everything else, the wisdom uh, that we live by and the laws that we live by and the theology that we live by come out of the stories. And what do these stories mean? And the beginning story is the story of the law. The law of Moses is a little bit of a misnomer. Um, it's really not about the law. It's about the story that happened between the creation and the time when Israel was in the wilderness, but preparing finally after 40 years to enter in. Uh, and so that, that set of books at the beginning, the first five books, Genesis through Deuteronomy, is called the Torah. And that's the foundation stone of the whole Bible. Uh, and out of that out of that set of books, right at the beginning in the book of Genesis, which is my favorite book in the Bible to read, comes the promise given to Abraham that eventually culminates in our Lord Jesus, the Messiah. And so I would encourage you, if you're looking for a place to start, start at the beginning, start at Genesis. That's a great first book to read. You might want to go from Genesis and then go from there to the New Testament. You'll see how that whole thing rolls out. Uh, it's just amazing. Well, um, one of the things I do when I read the Torah is after I get through, uh, when I get to the, through Genesis and into Exodus, and almost through Exodus, it gets into laws, a lot of laws. And so I start marking down the narratives, the place at the beginning of the chapters where you, it shows you're, you're still in a story frame and very carefully read the story frames around those laws. And you begin to understand why some of those laws are where they are. Uh, the law is not a theoretical idea. Uh, about what could happen. The, 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 the law is addressing things that already are happening. And so uh, it's an important, important part of our thinking. Now, the New Testament, uh, Paul and the book of Hebrews especially, they, uh, they make the case that uh, we are in a story and that the story takes precedent over the law, in a sense. In other words, the law has a function within the story, but not the other way around. Um, the promise given to Abraham in Genesis chapter 12, uh, and then passed on to his son Isaac and his son Jacob, all happened before the law. Paul makes that case, and the book of Hebrews makes that case. Even when Israel breaks the law, broke the law covenant, by making the golden calf right after they had said, this is it, we'll do this, we promise this is great. The law was actually pretty short at that point. Uh, but God makes an offer. He makes an offer to Moses and he says, look, I'll start over with you and I'll get rid of these uh, vile people, these wicked people who have, who have uh, broken their promise with me. And the thing that Moses reminds God of, not that he needed reminding, it might have been a little test for Moses as well. Moses reminds God of the promise he made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And you and I still live on that promise today. Uh, and it was the law, though, that kept Israel from melting into the nations, becoming like everybody else. Um, it, it's the law that kept the tribe of Judah and their families uh, so that they could recognize the Messiah when he showed up. Uh, and so the law comes to us in the form of a story. And the law or the story is about how the promise survives. 
and the law keeps it intact and the law keeps it recognizable. And the New Testament, long later, is about the promise coming to fruition in Jesus, the Jewish Messiah. So if we don't know the story of the law, then the New Testament is going to be very difficult to understand. So uh, I would encourage you, wherever you're reading in the scripture, keep reading and understand that you are in the middle of a story that God is telling and your life and my life, our lives are still part of the story that God is telling. And so be part of his story this week, even if you feel trapped inside and and whatever else uh, by the COVID virus and what else, whatever else is going on, uh, be part of that. Uh, but make your make your life make part of your life this week to join with us who who live a worship lifestyle, worshiping God every day in every way. To join with us uh, this coming Sunday at ten thirty as we gather all the worship we're doing together in one place. We sing together, whether you meet with us physically or online. Can't wait to see you there. God bless you this week.